Uh, now that we have looked at our first macro, let us now go back to our developer tab where we were uh, kind of looking at the visual basic editor and uh, kind of understand what this whole uh, thing is all about. So if you are opening this for the first time from the developer tab and uh, you can actually press Alt F11 or you can click this icon which I did just now. So um, you will see by default that there are many uh, windows here. Uh, the one is uh, the VBA project that's the file name uh, and it's also the project name and uh, there's a properties sheet and then there's a locals window and the watch window so uh, as you can see there's a cross here against uh, every uh, every window so you may want to kind of close this and uh, and kind of you know totally delete this that can also be done uh, the reason we are are doing this here is that uh, i just wanted to show you that uh, these are kind of highly customizable as per your requirement whichever uh, is is the need of the art you can actually keep that for the time being now uh, why don't you have a look at uh, these these icons on the top the one which we are going to learn in this video is the project explorer so as as it is prompted control R is also what you can use uh, so I'll click here uh, this is all about the project explorer so here what we see is that uh, we see a tree structure which mentions something like VBA project and VBA project dot XLS so essentially it treats every workbook as a project so Excel actually treats workbook as a project and um, if you look at what is inside this tree structure, it says Microsoft Excel objects. These are sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and this workbook. So let me just double click on sheet one. And uh, uh, the moment I do that, you'll find that there's a white space that opens up. So if you remember from our first macro, there was something which was written here. And uh, uh, essentially, this is a place where your code actually is written so uh, uh, don't worry about this we will we'll be discussing all of these as in in terms of what is this coding window all about uh, but for the time being I was actually here and you know discussing that uh, each sheet can have its own set of you know coding environment and uh, these uh, a sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 and this workbook all of these are actually called as objects while we are discussing this in respect to the VBAs Another thing to note within the VBA Project Explorer is that uh, the number of sheets here, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3 and this workbook uh, for the coding purposes. Why there were three sheets? Uh, this is basically the way uh, Excel actually creates a workbook. By default, there are three worksheets which are available, but we can obviously increase the number of worksheets. So let me kind of do that. Uh, this is sheet 4 which I have inserted. Let's say sheet 5 and uh, let me go back and look at what happens in the Visual Basic Editor. So now you can see that the number of sheets have kind of increased from 3 to now 5. So you can have 10 sheets, 15, 20 odd sheets depending on your requirements. And all these sheets which are treated as objects will be listed here. Another thing um, probably of uh, much importance is that what if I change the name of these sheets here. Let's say sheet 1 if I change this to A, sheet 2 to let's say B and uh, sheet 3 C D and E. So what happens to the naming within the Visual Basic uh, Project Explorer? So as you can see here now uh, the name per se for which it actually starts doesn't change in the bracket you can see the name actually is changed so it says a b c d e and this workbook so as we have discussed earlier that you know um, when we double click on sheet one uh, the project or code environment opens up with respect to sheet one so you can actually write the code here you know something like macro a so this is for the uh, uh, sheet a Likewise, you can write this for macro B. You can write the same for uh, macro C, which is for sheet 3. And you can uh, keep on doing this. And let's say for sheet 5, sub E. Now, probably you may have written uh, these codes individually. And you can see that you can access these codes within these worksheets. You can do that by double clicking individual worksheets. and. Uh, uh, first question probably uh, that should come into your mind is that uh, let's say if I have written code in these kind of formats within each worksheet uh, if there were 20 worksheets I would have navigated 
across these 20 worksheets in order to access these individual codes which would have been really difficult so uh, the solution to this problem here actually is that uh, you can make use of a function called uh, insert module so you can click here on insert and you can uh, click here on module uh, so the moment you do that you can see that your project explorer window actually has another node so um, earlier there was only Microsoft Excel objects now it also has modules and uh, here within module when you double click you can write your subroutines or you know uh, 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 let's say uh, module 1 or module 2 as macros so please note that in this module uh, you can write more than one subroutine so you can have 15 20 25 30 you know uh, uh, you can write as many uh, subroutines as as you want and another thing to actually note is that you can also insert a couple of other modules module 2 module 3 so on and so forth uh, you know you'll actually find that 90% uh, of the VBA macro coders actually uh, prefer this modular approach where they can use this module 1 for a specific purpose uh, module 2 for another purpose module 3 for another purpose and they can create a clear clear uh, um, you know uh, architecture of uh, their code using modules um, one reason could be that this is more organizationally uh, way better than uh, what we find within the individual codes so uh, that's that's how actually this module uh, works and um, you can also find that these module 1 module 2 3 can be renamed we will explain this when we discuss about the properties uh, uh, of the VBA Explorer window uh, but uh, think about this as module 1 can be renamed as uh, let's say employee codes and uh, module 2 may be uh, department codes and we can uh, rename it uh, and it provides a lot of flexibility however you will find that in these sheets the renaming is kind of literally uh, difficult as uh, you can see sheet 1 bracket A so you cannot rename these sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3 in, in that kind of format which is desired uh, for the VBA coding now another thing probably uh, you can uh, look at is that uh, you may want to insert other objects which are like you know a user form or um, maybe a class module uh, we will not discuss these user forms and class modules for the timing we will discuss this in our uh, future series of video tutorials uh, but think of these as again the objects within this project called VBA project so earlier there was only one object within which there were different other set of objects uh, now there are four nodes which consist of forms and class modules we'll discuss these two later and uh, uh, that's that's where you know probably we will leave uh, the project explorer discussion for the time being probably last uh, couple of uh, thoughts here as you can see that uh, we had mentioned earlier that MS Excel treats each workbook as a project right so uh, let's create let's probably you know open another workbook and I'll open a new workbook called let's say book one and this is another workbook and it has only one sheet so I'll, I'll create let's say you know 10 sheets here and this is my new workbook now I'm just trying to explain what is meant by Microsoft Excel treating workbook as project so uh, let me now go to the developers tab and uh, click here on visual basic okay so the moment I do that uh, you can see that there are essentially two projects instead of one which was earlier now this is VBA project book one and then the current one which we were currently working on that was VBA project dot XLS and within this book one you can see that there are 10 sheets sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4 so uh, these are kind of uh, treated as a separate project altogether uh, see the beauty of um, treating a Microsoft Excel uh, workbook as projects is that you may be working here within this uh, sheet 1 coding or maybe you would be doing something here writing some code for new workbook and uh, you know uh, you may immediately shift to probably VBA project sheet one and write a new subroutine here so it actually provides you with a lot of flexibility to move around and do things when it is about coding so this is how you know uh, Excel actually treats uh, 
uh, these things as projects. First thing that probably I, I would like to emphasize here is that how do you delete a module? So if there are three modules and uh, probably you just require two. So you may want to kind of delete the third one. Uh, so for doing that, you can actually right click after selecting the module and just click here on remove module three. And here it asks you for a prompt which says that do you want to export module 3 before removing it so uh, if you want to use this module 3 at some other place you may want to click yes and then import it and use it however if you don't want it you can just click no and your module will get deleted so uh, this is basically about uh, the project explorer for the time being uh, now we will move up, uh, to the properties uh, discussion and see uh, what this is all about